Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got three really big stories. Starting with PCI Express 4.0 on 11th Gen Intel, AMD's upcoming card crushes Ampere in this, and Nvidia's RTX 3090 gets a gaming benchmark that makes the 2080 Ti cry. But first, if you aren't subscribed and you like the content here, please go ahead and do that and click the bell icon for notifications. I see that over 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so definitely make sure to do that so you can stay up with all things gaming hardware. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Tom Apisac spotted something quite interesting on Intel's upcoming 11th gen CPUs. For those who don't know, it's Rocket Lake, which is set to be built on a new core architecture, but still on 14 nanometers. Either way, as you can see in the SciSoft database, the upcoming CPU was spotted running with a PCI Express 4.0 SSD. That doesn't necessarily mean the final product will support PCI Express 4.0, but it is about as confirming as a leak can get. We know some board partners have already touted support for PCI Express 4.0 on Z490 boards, so this all but confirms it. Next up for today, we have a pretty interesting story on AMD's upcoming AI cart, and it has some fairly big implications for Big Navi, potentially, but I'll get to that in a second. The story originally comes from Adore TV, who were able to get their hands on a few slides that they claim comes from an MI100 presentation. Now, I will say that they definitely look real, and while I do trust Adore TV, I don't know who their source is, so it's good to be a little skeptical. But really, I highly doubt these are fake. Starting things off, for those who don't know, the Instinct MI100 is set to be based on AMD's new cDNA architecture. Remember that AMD is separating their GPU architectures so they can focus on application-specific needs rather than an all-encompassing architecture that's effectively a jack-of-all, master-of-none. Anyway, the first slide shows a dual socket system with two clusters of four GPUs, but the interesting part here is that it shows the new MI100 has nearly 100% scaling all the way up to 32 GPUs in machine learning. It's definitely impressive. In the second slide, we see that AMD's MI100 beats a theoretical 300 watt version of Nvidia's A100. I say theoretical because it really only comes in a 400 watt and 250 watt variant. Of course, it wouldn't be hard to do the math to get about what we would expect out of a 300 watt version. The big thing here is the price to performance metric that shows AMD's MI100 crushes it. Next up, we can see AMD is targeting very specific fields, and there's a reason for that. In the final slide, AMD is at least honest about the fact that Nvidia's A100 flat dominates the MI100 in all but one area, and that's FP32 compute. Adored TV's post before this claims that the MI100 has a whopping 42 teraflops of FP32 compute, which is definitely big as it's more than double the A100s. And here, AMD is claiming to get 2.4 times the performance of the A100 for 30% less. Now, these could be tensor operations, but even at half that, it's still a bit of an uptick from Nvidia and at a huge price difference. Basically, while this doesn't give us much of anything for gaming since it's a completely different architecture without a graphics pipeline, etc., it at least gives me hope that AMD can truly compete with Nvidia's next-gen GPUs. We may really have a competitor in their big Navi. Fingers crossed. Now speaking of that next-gen, we have a huge story on Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3090. For those who haven't followed along, we originally thought the 3090 would replace the 3080 Ti, but we have gotten a leak of a custom 3080 Ti, so it's tough to say. We know it isn't some dual card like the 690. Maybe the leakers are just using it as a placeholder, or maybe it's above the 3080 Ti. Either way, we have a recent leak with some benchmark information on Nvidia's upcoming GPU, and it's massive. Originally tweeted by Kat Corgi and later confirmed by copite 7 Kimmy, who have both proven to know quite a bit about Nvidia's upcoming cards, as well as gotten information extremely accurate on the A100. Either way, Kat Corgi states that the RTX 3090 may get up to a 50% performance increase in time spike stream. Now, we don't know what card he's referring to, but copite 7 Kimmy stated that it's true and claims it gets nearly 10,000 points. It's over 9,000! That means Cat Corgi is in fact referring to the 2080 Ti, which only gets in the 6 to 7 thousands. Basically, given this is accurate, Nvidia has already begun benchmarking the upcoming GPU, and it flat dominates in gaming benchmarks. Of course, as many have said, price is the key here. 
Still, at a 50% performance increase over one of the fastest GPUs ever, the RTX 3000 series is looking to be impressive. So while that does it for today, who do you think will win in the upcoming GPU showdown? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!